Hey guys, I want to show you a quick way that you can transfer um, several files into Google Drive at one time. Um, if you're maybe wanting to put some things from your home drive into Google Drive, this will be a quick way to do it. Or if you have a bunch of agendas in one place for meetings that you're hosting or something like that. Um, again, a reminder, we're not putting any sensitive student information in here. Nothing about IEPs, reavals, nothing about um, student assessment data, um, interventions that we're doing with students or anything like that. Um, photos and videos are okay, of course, as long as they're appropriate. Put photos and videos, not something that you took of suspected abuse or something like that. Um, but anyway, so um, this would be a quick way you can transfer several files into Google Drive at one time. And um, what I'm going to show you, I am going to move a folder called Beginning of the Year into my Anna's Home folder. And I can look and see I have not already copied this. Now I will tell you if I, if I did try to copy something in that's already here, it is going to make a duplicate. So I can see, for instance, I have an assistive technology folder already in my drive and I have one in my home drive. If I copied that over, it's not going to sync them together like Windows would do. It's going to make a duplicate. So just be aware of that. But I can see I don't have anything that starts with B. These are in alphabetical order. So beginning of the year is a safe one to do. If I open it up, it has one folder nested inside, which also has some subfolders and documents in it. And then it's got some, some folders here, including some you know, various, various file types. So I'm going to go back to my home drive. There's my beginning of the year folder. Now before I do this, I want to show you a quick setting, which is going to make this work a little easier for you. So from within my drive, on your, uh, anywhere on your My Drive um, screen, as long as you see Drive over here on the left, underneath your face or your initial, you should see a little gear. And just a heads up, that gear almost always means settings. Any app that you're in, when you see a gear, that means settings. So I'm going to click the gear, click the word settings. And then it's the second thing on the page and the first checkbox. It says convert uploads. Convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. By default, this is not checked. So you want to check that and click done. And let me tell you what that's going to do. When I come over to my beginning of the year folder, now I can actually, you want to get your, um, your folder where it lives kind of in front. And then um, I had it in front. All right, your folder in front and then your, your My Drive browser window behind. And what you're going to do is just you can drag a whole folder or an ind individual file or whatever and drop it. And do you see it's even popped up a little message there telling me I can drag things here to upload them. So I'm going to drop that there. And it immediately pops up a box saying uploading one item. It tells me what it's uploading. It tells me how many pieces from inside it's done. So it's 3 of 18 right now. It's going to show me the progress. And when it gets done, I'll get a green check mark right there showing me that it's done. So I'm going to wait just a second, and I can see the beginning of the year folder's already popped in, even though it's not done copying. And it's almost done. And I can see already that I've got an error message. That's what this little warning sign means. It says one failed. I'm going to click on the warning to see what failed. It said it tried to convert this document called tilde dollar sign urgency cards dot doc and it wasn't able to convert it. It tried to convert it because it's a word file dot doc. Uh, the conversion failed because if it starts with a little tilde, that's a special weirdo file that Word makes as a temporary when you open something, which really shouldn't even be there. So that is not a problem that that failed. I didn't actually need that file. So it's fine. Uh, everything else went through. One out of 18 failed, it says, so everything else went through. Um, and then I can open beginning of the year, and you see I've got all those little files. I've got the, the um, folder that was inside that, and it had its folders inside, so all that copied over together. And what that did when I did that little checkbox on my settings, I want to show you. Um, this right here, for instance, Adapt Program Supply List, Supply Wish List, 
this had been a Word file, and now I can see that it is no longer a Word file, it's a Google Docs file, and I can actually open it straight up and edit it from within Google Docs without having to do anything else. I don't have to convert it to a Google file or anything. It's just ready to go. So when I checked that box, what it did is it took all the Word documents and made them into Google Docs. It takes all of my Excel spreadsheets. This was an Excel spreadsheet turns it into Google Sheets, etc. Anything that it can convert to be editable in Drive is now automatically converted without me having to do another step. So that's what that checkbox is for. Um, so that's just a quick way that you can copy things into a certain place in Drive. And you can do this, you know, any folder that you have editing rights in. So if you're in Teachers and Staff, and let's say you go into um, teacher and para folders and maybe I am um, Becky so I might open up Becky's folder if I'm her I can drop files directly in here where it says drop files here and it's going to convert those to a Google editable document and also copy it over with the folder structure and everything so that's just a little shortcut for you that you can use anywhere in Drive thanks guys